to set up this gazelle tent, first unfold the tent and make sure that it's flat on the ground. To do so, make sure you can no longer see the flooring of the tent, which is black in color. Let me fully unfold it and I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like to be flat on the ground. Notice you can no longer see the black flooring. Now grab the webbing loop sewn onto the center of one of the walls like this and pull it outward until the wall pops open. You may have to use your other hand to push back on the wall like what I'm doing here. With one of the walls popped open, just do the same with the three other walls. They each have the same webbing loop to pull on. I'm going to walk around the entire tent and pop them all open so you can see what that looks like. I find that the last wall is usually more difficult to pop open than the rest, so you may have to use a little bit more muscle for that last wall. If you're not that strong like me, one tip I have for you here is to cover the palm of your hand with some fabric, place the webbing loop on that fabric, close your palm and then pull. It's a lot less painful with that fabric in your hand. And here's what the gazelle looks like after all four walls have been popped open, and that's the webbing loop in each of the walls. Now, if you don't need to set up your rainfly, just unzip one of the doors and go inside the tent. Once you're inside the tent, just push up on the bottom of the roof hub until the roof pops into place. But if you need to set the rainfly up, do not pop up the roof hub yet. So I'm just gonna go back in and pop it back down before we can set up the fly. Remember, before you set up the fly, the tent must be freestanding with all four walls popped out and the roof collapsed. It's really important to follow the instructions so your tent doesn't break or spoil. Okay, I'm gonna spread the rainfly on the ground first to show you what we're working with. This is the rainfly, and it has four of these poles attached to the underside of the rainfly. Now, what I like to do is to grab one of the corners of the rainfly, and then I slide it over one of the corners of the tent. I try to get as much fabric up there as possible, and again, just remember that the rainfly poles should be on the underside of the rainfly. Then go ahead and gently spread the rainfly over the top of the tent. Pull on it gently, take your time to spread it out, and don't force it into place because you don't want any of the poles on the rainfly to snap. Also, I find that it really helps to hook up at least one part of the rainfly here. So on top of the four poles on the rainfly for the corners of the tent, you also have four of these hooks on the rainfly which are to be secured to the loops at the center of each wall. Hooking one of it up really helps center the rainfly in place and makes spreading it over the rest of the tent pretty easy. Now with the rainfly fully spread out over the top of the tent, go to one of the corners of the tent and this is what you'll find. That's one of the rainfly poles and that's where the rainfly pole is supposed to be secured into. This is the hook that we attached before, here's another one of the four hooks, here's another corner, and here's another hook. I think you get the idea. But wait, before we set up the rainfly, do remove that one hook right here like this, because there will be a lot of tension in the fly when the poles get secured into place. Now starting at one corner, insert what they call the male end of the rainfly poles to the female end of the roof poles, just like this. It should be pretty easy to do so with hardly any tension at all. That's me redoing the first corner, here's the second corner, I'll pan the camera around and get the third and fourth corners up too. And that's what the rainfly looks like when all the poles are in place. Then open one of the doors, go into the tent, push on the hub and pop up the roof panel and make sure that all the poles click into place. When they've been clicked into place, they should be sort of facing downwards, like this. You can actually go around the entire tent and check that all four rainfly poles are facing semi-downwards. If any of the poles don't get pushed into place, here's kind of what it looks like. It'll be facing a little bit upwards, I guess. I'll also show you what it looks like from the inside, so let me pop down the roof again and I'll bring you into the tent this time. Okay, so this is the roof hub right here, so just use one hand or both hands and push up on it until you actually feel everything click into place. After all the rainfly poles are secured in place, it's time to hook up the hooks of the rainfly as well to the hub loops at the center of each wall. As I mentioned just a few minutes ago, there are four of these hooks and I think you can see them all 
in this shot. Next, zip the door up and it's time to stake down the entire tent. There are eight tent base stake loops, four for the corners and another four in between the corners. I'll get the entire tent staked out so you have a better idea of where all the stake loops are. And here's a close up shot of what each of the stake loops look like. It's basically a pretty big grommet that's big enough to accommodate the big V stakes that Gazelle provided. After that, it's time to guy out the entire tent. There are four guy lanes and four stakes left, so just nice. The instructions weren't super clear on where to attach the guy lines, so I just attached them to this small grommet on the rainfly. If you don't need to set the rainfly up, I guess you could use these hub loops to get the tent guide out too. I'm going to get the four guy lines attached to the rainfly grommet with just a simple hitch, and then I'm just going to guide them all out. And yeah, basically that's it. The Gazelle T4 is finally set up. For you pack away of this tent, do check out this video that I'll leave on the screen here. Thank you for watching this setup video. I hope it helped you a little bit. You're awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.